Hi, I am Jesslyn, and this is my niece, Ellie. Hey. <laughs> she's gonna help me out with um, this tutorial. Um, and she's been helping out with the percent problems already. So we're about to do percent of change. So percent of change, it compares the change in quantity to the original amount. And so like if I had 10 dogs and then I went to 20 dogs, like what is the percent of change there? Like obviously it's an increase because I went from 10 to 20, but what is the percent of change? So there's another percent pro proportion that you have to know. And that proportion, oh my marker's kind of running out, but it's okay. That proportion is the difference over the original equals percent over 100. If you notice there's similarities in percent proportions, they always have this percent over 100. You're never going to see anything different. Yeah, percent, percent pro because it's a percent proportion. So percent over 100, the difference over the original. So here's an example. So it says, Zach Cole shot an 86 on the golf course on Monday. On Friday, he shot a 95. So he went from an 86 to a 95. So that's a percent of increase. What is the percent of change? So the first thing you wanna do is find the difference of those two numbers. Your difference is always gonna be positive, so you're always gonna subtract the bigger number from the smaller number, okay? And you're never gonna have a negative number for the difference. So you would say 95 minus 86, which is nine. And then we have to put it over the original, so over what we started with. He went from 86 to 95, so 86 is the original. So we put nine over 86 equals X over 100 because we're looking for the percent of change. So here is our proportion. And again, we solve this proportion like we do every other proportion. If you don't know how to solve proportions, go and watch my proportion video. It will teach you how to solve it um, very easily. We're gonna do the butterfly method, nine times 100 and then 86 times x. Nine times 100 is 900. 86 times x is 86x. And so we are going to solve for x by dividing both sides by 86. And then you're going to get x is equal to 10.5%. 10 .5%. And that is a percent of increase because we went from 85 or 86 to 95. So it's 10.5% increase. And yes, I rounded to the tenth place, okay? Awesome, so let's do another one. Ellie, you wanna read that problem and read it loud and clear for me and yes. slow. Okay. Kelly Dyer became a great writer. She had a picnic each year to celebrate the date of her first published work. The first year, 50 people came. The second year, 30 people came. What, what is the percent of change? Okay, so walk us through that, Ellie. What do we want to find first? So this is obviously a decrease, so we're going to want to subtract the first one, which is the first year, by the second year, 50, 50 minus 30 equals 20. 20. Very good. So that's the difference. So she started with 50 people, and then the second year she had 30 people. We want to know the percent of decrease for that. So the difference is 20, and then what's the original? What did she start with? The original was 50. So we put it over 50. So it's the difference over the original equals X, X over 100. 100. Okay, how do we solve this proportion, Els? Walk them through it well, while, while it's <laughs> sitting here. Well, well, we had to do the butterfly effect. Yeah, the and butterfly. 20 times 100 equals? 20 times 100 equals 2,000. 2,000. And, and then 50 times x equals 50x. Okay, so and we got that so And if you divide so those both by 50, you will get, you will get 40. And it's a 40% increase. Decrease. Decrease, very good. That, that's important, you need to know if it's an yeah. increase or decrease. An increase or decrease. And obviously, if it goes up, it's an increase. If it goes down, it's a decrease. So one more, I'll take you through. Thanks, Els. That was very good, very smart. Um, last six weeks, Joseph Lawhorn made an 88 average in class. This six weeks, he made a 92. Please figure out the percent of change. So we went from 88 to 92. So that's an increase? That's an increase. It's an increase. Good job. Increase, that's an increase. So we have to find the difference. He went from an 88 to 92. 
So the difference there is four. 92 minus 88 is four. But the original, what he started with was an 88. So we put it over 88 and then X over 100. So we have the difference over the original equals X over 100. And now we're gonna solve it. So four times 100 is 400. 88 times X is 88 X. X. And then and all you have to do is divide both of them by 88, which will be 4.5. 4.5% and this is a 4.5% increase. increase. Uh-huh. Because sometimes your teacher will want you to tell tell her if it tell her him if it is an increase or a decrease. So that is how you do percent of change. Simple as that. Thank you for listening and have a great night. <laughs> Thank you.